Oh, that's a little bluegill. Oh, that's a bluegill. Nice. Dude, check that out. Guys, that's fantastic. Guys, look at that. Guys, that has catfish bait screened all <laughs> over it. Dude, I haven't caught a sunfish, AKA bluegill, in a long time. He Very left me nice. one worm, too. Caught this bluegill, guys, just in like 20 feet of water. Boom. I was hoping to get a crappie, but I'll, I'll take that. That's fantastic. Saturday morning, we knew exactly what we wanted to do. We still had some old crappie bits from the night before. We knew we wanted to get out into the main channel and try to go deep for some big catfish. And so that's exactly what we did. Guys, Asa just hooked up. I just, just pulled in a bluegill. <laughs> Asa's in on a catfish. Excellent. Get him in, bro. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, yeah that's a nice one. Oh. Nice, dude. That's like another 10 pounder, dude. Holy mackerel. That's a big old tubby. That might be a new person. Yeah, I think that look, Guys, look at that. That is what we're out here for. That is a 10 pound. That almost looks like a blue. Yeah, it almost does. Maybe it, I think it's a channel. Is it still channel? channel? Yeah, no, it's, I think it's a channel. Channel of smaller mouths. Okay. Guys, yeah. fantastic. Bro, nicely done. Guys, guys, there are a bunch of crickets in the water, so we're just picking them up Here you go, Mike. as bait. Here you go. And we're just... And just toss them in this bucket. Guys, this is self-serve bait right here. This is Mobile Bait Company. Oh, you know, I'm going to let him go. He's kind of small. Here's another one. Come here. Thank you. Oh. All right, guys. I got three, six so far. This is fantastic. All right, guys. I'm going to freshen up my bait, but I'm also going to load like four of these Mormon crickets on. Just for fun. And see how it works. Gosh, look at that. I mean, this is just like bait delivered. Maybe they stayed on. Got him. There he is. Nice. She came back around for it. Oh. Loosen that up a little bit. Would you like to sit on the cooler, Bob? Got the net. Got the net there, boy. Come on. Nice. Thanks, bro. Sweet. Woo. That's a perfect eating size channel cat right there. There we go. About a six, seven pound channel cat in about 40 feet of water. That is fantastic. That is what we're out here for. Asa just hauled into him. Got him. He's got him. Oh, we've got a live one here. All right, guys. We've got net duty again today. Got to get on the net. Brother's on it. It's a big old carp. Here you go, Asa. Look, you don't have to bring him in. <laughs> That's fantastic. Just Look at that. Around, you know. All right. That's done. Number three on the day. Thanks for knitting them, bro. Yeah, bro. High five. There we go. That was a good high five. Beautiful eat size, guys.
All right, guys, the old man just loaded into one. It's a catfish, I'm sure. Yeah. Either that, or it's a state record crappie. What color crappie? Wow. Red and white. Holy mac. Yeah, let him fight because you've got like what? I've got like six pounds. Six pound test, all of six pound test line on that thing. Guys, we got doubles on. This rod almost went over the side while my dad's fighting a catfish on a crappie rod. Woo! Hooked into this one. Yeah, it's we're on a, that 40 foot channel still. Going doubles. There he is. Nicely done, Pops. Yeah, look at that little crappie jig. Boy, those mouths are so tough. When it gets in that mouth, it's hooked. Guys, she's coming up. Guys, so a lot of times when you get a catfish in the crop, you can break it off because the teeth will snap it. But, uh, I might need a net over here. Mine's getting close. Oh, <laughs> My dad's getting bit by the catfish back there. I'm going to have to step back. Yeah! Thanks, dude. That's Look at that one. That's that fat toad. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's another like 10 pounder guys. Look at that. All right guys, the old man just caught another one right here. Perfect eating size. Hey Pops, what was it like getting that fish in? It was great. I was right under the boat. Didn't fight too much. It was pretty nice for an old guy like me to catch one this size. That's fantastic. Take us through when you were bringing that fish in. What were your thoughts and uh, what was that like? It was really tense. I, I, I was, uh, you know, this is the second fish of the day. You guys have been killing them, so I knew I had to get this in. I put everything into it and, uh, you know, good things happen. That's fantastic. You know, what was the emotional journey up to this point for you? Well, I, you know, I suffered quite a slump there. Uh, things were bad. I mean, things were really bad, mm -hmm. but the whole team pulled together, stayed with it, stayed out there, and, well, two big catfish later, we're back on top. All right, thank you. It's, I literally just wandered around the boat and found five crickets that had used our raft to save themselves. <laughs> it's not going to work out for them. That's all there is to say. So but I've got five crickets, cricket medley, and we're going to try to catch a catfish on this. Guys, I'm getting a bite on my crickets. Come on, baby. You know, you just want a big old mouthful of crickets. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go whole crappie head here. Nice, nice and bloody. Viewer discretion advised. Right there, right through the eyes. That's the perfect way to hook because it gets in the skull, so it can't tear out. Circle hook, crappie head. 40 foot. 40 foot uh, channel bed. Let's see what kind of damage we can create. Got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have a fish on? I got him. You got him. You got oh, him. Get ready, boys. You ready, Mr. Bull? Again, in that 40 feet of water. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Dude. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Oh. That's like a 15-pounder. That is what I'm talking about. Another big channel cap pulling them out of 40 feet of water. That's fun. And you're going against the current. Just adds to the fight. Fortunately, we've got pretty good tackle, good heavy tackle, 15 to 30 pound test line, big circle hooks. Guys, <laughs> that is fantastic. We're gonna get some stakes off of that one. Woo! <laughs> Strap <As> me in. <laughs> <laughs> As we were packing in, this rod went off. Mike turned around and grabbed it. We were taking our final photos. Yeah. Oh, 
fell asleep though. Yes! Nice. Guys, finally caught one. It's been an hour. <laughs> Here we go. Look at that. Right. That's a beautiful one. Nice yellow. <laughs> I was going to say texture. Yellow. Listen to it. Hear him grunt. Wink, wink. <laughs> Miss Piggy? <laughs> That's a good what? Six pounder? Five, six pounder? <laughs> We've caught so many. Are you just going to wow. let that one go? I guess. It feels so wrong. Though. Yeah, it does. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's get her back in. Guys, we're pulling up, getting ready to leave. And this is just a mere taste of the results of today. Look at all that. That's some fantastic fishing right there. <laughs> all channels, Jimmy all Christmas. channels. That is a good looking stringer right there. All right guys, so there are all kinds of crickets all over this little rock island. So we dubbed this place Cricket Island. That's how you name things when you're fishing. If there are a bunch of cows eating in a little pasture by the water, you call it pasture flats. If there's a single tree in a cove area, you call it tree cove. And it's known by every fisherman by that name. We have just dubbed this place Cricket Island. I'll go home and tell half a dozen fishermen this place is called Cricket Island, and they'll all know where it is. It's weird how that works, but that's just how it works in the fishing world. Cricket Island has treated us well. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for tagging along. More awesome videos to come in 2018. My bro here, Ace, and we're excited to get after it. I mean, dude, we're finishing up fishing, and I'm already trying to figure out when the next, the next time. Place. I, yeah, the next place I'm gonna go fishing. So, guys, thanks again for watching. Everybody always says tight lines. I say the heck with that. My line's always tight. My line's tight when I'm getting a snack. So, I say keep your stringer full. I've been sitting here trying to tell a story of the last three days. Asa rolls up and he's already got a fish. Unreal. Nice channel. And so I can decide to come down and enjoy them. It's a good eating size. Yes. Look at that. Live. Oh look, he has. Wait, what? Yeah, one he of... has another. He has one of our. He has one of my rigs in there. <laughs> Darn you, I get half the... Guys, he's got a hook. That might have been... Because I missed one a while. Well, I don't know. I Because I had one on for a brief moment, and then he got off. <laughs> so do I get, like, half credit for that or something? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. What a pig. Crazy.